This video will take you through the steps to request a book chapter, article, or other item through Interlibrary Loan when you're using any of the databases available in the library website at Westminster College. To find a list of the databases that you can use at Westminster, scroll down on our webpage until you get to online resources and you'll find an alphabetical list of all the databases that are accessible to students and faculty. Now you can also sort these by browsing by discipline or the type of database as well. Not every single one of our databases can you make an interlibrary loan request for directly from them. However, many of them you can. And I would like to show you examples of how you can do this in a couple of our databases. First example we'll use is PubMed. In this database in particular, you will need to go through the library website to use the link. You can get to PubMed through Google and the web in general, but in order to use the library links and request through your library loan, you'll need to access it through our online resources page. Now once you do so, and you conduct a search and find an article that you want to read the full text for, look on the right side of the page for a link that says check for full text. Looks blue here. When you click on that, you'll find a page that may look familiar to you that is similar to the Search Wise catalog. What this will do is first try to determine if we have full text for this article or book chapter in any of our other databases available in the library. In this case, we don't have the full text, and so you can go ahead and request this through your library loan by clicking Request this item. Once you click on that, you'll be shown details about that article. Just make sure it is the same one that you wanted. And then as you scroll down, type in any comments or questions that you want the library to know about. And finally, put in your contact information and then click Submit. Once the article is ready for you to download, you'll receive an email from mcgill.ill at westminster.edu. And if you certainly have any trouble with this, please contact the library. Now, a few other example databases that you can request articles and book chapters from uh, include PsychInfo. So once you've conducted a search and found an article you want to read the full text for, you can click on the Check Local Holdings link and find yourself, once again, on a similar looking website. We will check to see if any of our other databases have the full text for the article. And if not, once again, go ahead and click to request this item. In a final example, in EBSCOhost, and the college has several different databases that are on the EBSCOhost platform, you can click on Check for Full Text for that same result of going to the WISE catalog interface to see if we have that full text. And if not, you can make an interlibrary loan request. It can be challenging at times to find the Check for Full Text or Related button on our various websites. And so if you have any questions about locating that, please don't hesitate to contact the library or if you have any other questions for us. Thank you.